the lateral performance of loose shear walls. Shear walls are an efficient, economical method of resisting lateral loads from wind or seismic events. But shear walls only work properly when tightly connected. Most testing focuses on system strength based on a carefully controlled and constructed static installation. But in the real world, buildings are completed, then shrink and settle. And while the building settles, the threaded rod length is constant. The connection length stays the same. To compensate for settling, self-adjusting shrinkage compensators have been developed to keep walls tight. This demonstration series compares loose versus tight walls and with and without shrinkage compensators. The demonstration unit is a small code equivalent shear wall mounted on a floor system. To simulate shrinkage, rods are lengthened through a pneumatic cylinder. A reversing lateral load of 30 pounds applied to the top of the wall simulates the reverse loading a wall might see with a wind or seismic event. The test will show three different connections. No shrinkage compensator, a screw type shrinkage compensator, and a ratchet type shrinkage compensator. With each tested in both the tight and loosened positions. The first demonstration showcases the action of a properly connected shear wall. Load is introduced into the top of the shear wall. As the shear wall rocks back and forth, the compression post and rod alternate carry the, the tension and compression loads into the foundation. Dial indicators mounted on the base show system backlash. The movement of the dial indicators shows between two and four thousandths of an inch movement or wall flexing. The second test demonstrates the action of a shear wall with an induced looseness of only three sixteenths of an inch. Looseness such as this is called backlash. This looseness can come from the shrinkage of just a pair of two by wood plates. Backlash of three sixteenths can reduce the lateral performance of shear walls by 40%. The movement of the dial indicators shows 190 thousandths of an inch movement or wall flexing. This demonstration wall illustrates how the mud sill will flex and fail during a lateral event with loose tie downs. Test number three demonstrates the action of a shear wall connected with a screw type shrinkage compensator and the wall movement with no shrinkage. Dial indicators mounted on the base show system backlash. In this case, about two to three thousandths of an inch. Next, we shrink the wall by expanding the pneumatic cylinder in the base and lengthening the rod. In this particular case, we do it by three quarters of an inch. As you can see, as the wall moves back and forth, it's still connected tightly. In all cases, the wall uplift or backlash is between two and four thousandths of an inch. The wall is never loosened more than four thousandths of an inch. In other words, the wall is always tight. The next series shows the performance of rod ratcheting shrinkage compensators. Rod ratchets advance in increments equal to the rod pitch plus the internal looseness of the ratchet mechanism. The rod we are testing is 3 quarter dash 10 or 10 threads per inch. The ratchet will only grip the rod after it advances a tenth of an inch or a hundred thousandths of an inch plus the looseness of the internal parts. The devices are installed as tightly as possible. The wall is then rocked by hand to show the installation tightness. This manual demonstration shows looseness of between 120 and 190 thousandths of an inch. When we power up the testing machine, we can see how the rod ratchet looseness is translated into shear wall looseness. The dial indicator rotates too fast to easily read the movement, but the wall looseness is clearly evident. Next, we shrink the wall by three quarters of an inch. Three quarters of an inch of shrinkage the compensator can handle, but when we run the lateral test, we have the same amount of looseness 
as when first installed. In other words, the wall is always loose, and the wall is loose by up to 190 thousandths of an inch, regardless of the ratchet position. Based on my observations, a rod ratchet can never be tight. The lesson is clear. Tight walls perform well. Loose walls don't. When addressing shrinkage and settling, the type of shrinkage compensator will directly affect the shear wall performance. Shrinkage and settling are serious concerns and must be addressed. Rod ratchets are only as tight as the thread pitch plus the internal looseness of the mechanism. A screw type device produces much less looseness. This demonstration shows that tight walls can remain tight with a screw type shrinkage compensator. For more information, go to www.cumminsmfg.com. Use AutoTight for high performance shear walls.